Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to take you through Alliance Warpath 4 today. I'm going to explain my champions, why I pick them, a little bit about my mastery setup, uh, and then a little bit just about my strategy in Alliance War. Um, first of all, I pick Gwenpool uh, for all the science champions. I always have my Detect Science Mastery on, um, so you can see that right there. I can already tell it's a science champion, so I'm going to pick Gwenpool. Um, this specific node has poison, so I have to kill him pretty quick because Gwenpool isn't poison immune. Um, this one ends up usually being Electro, which it is. I'm just gonna try to end this fight as quickly as possible. Usually I can get it done within 17 to 25 hits, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, yeah, there you go, 17 hits. Um, so pretty easy. Uh, he barely even gets the poison off. And I'll use her anytime I detect a science champion. So that's why I keep her around. Um, this one I don't see a science. So I'm gonna use, so I basically use Punisher for anyone who isn't science and isn't the Thorns node at the end. I always save my storm for the Thorns node. Um, I find that Punisher does a pretty good job against anyone in Lion's War. And I like Punisher against Nightcrawler specifically because his second special is not evadable and it does a ton of damage. So I'm going to try to get that off as soon as I can here. Hopefully not get hit too much. I try to only hit him here when I've parried him just so he doesn't evade. Here we go, see? can't evade it, so it does some pretty good damage there. Oh, not a good end. And he won't die here. Come on. There we go. Okay. That's kind of a messy ending. Um, but you get the point there. Hopefully I can keep him alive for the rest of these battles. So again, not a science champion, so I'm going to pull Punisher out. Try to end it quickly here. Alright, so Agent Venom see him a lot in Alliance War. He's pretty good because he shrugs off um, all debuffs. So it gets pretty annoying. There we go, so he just shrugged it off and I'm lucky he didn't bleed me there. That would have been not, not really good. Jeez. There you go, there's that tenacity. Makes him hard to fight a little bit. I'm gonna try to get into overdrive here. So hit him a little harder so he gets finished quicker. There we go, I'm in overdrive right now, so this should be. There we go. Alright, so this is an unblockable first special. Um, plus kinetic reactor, which basically means every time they hit my block, they're gonna get uh, a little bit more power. I'm actually glad this is Cyclops, this shouldn't be too hard of a fight here. His first special really isn't that hard to evade, unless you do that, apparently. Be a little bit more careful now so I don't get hit by that again. Okay, 
know he's gonna use his first special here and just man, not doing a very good demonstration there but there we go he's down All right, so here we go. Here's another science champion. So I'm gonna use Gwenpool. Um, we'll see who this is. A lot of times you'll see Spidey or Rhino here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do here is only hit him when he's parried. So again, kind of like, um, kind of like Nightcrawler here, because I have Pacify my masteries, which basically means when he's stunned, he has a less likely chance to evade or use any defensive abilities. It's going pretty well so far. Oh shoot. That's why you have to be careful. It's hard. Oh man. I parry off luckily. This will be... Oh jeez. I just showed you guys what not to do, which is to hit. There we go. Awesome. It's just barely, barely stayed alive there. Got kind of lucky. A little bit. Okay, so for this last one, I always use Storm. Um, I like Storm for Thorns, even though she doesn't reduce defensive abilities, because her specials hit so hard and won't do return Thorn damage. So as long as you can get a special off. I usually save for her special too. You're in pretty good shape. But first here I'll take some decent damage. But Mordo's a good champion especially for this because he doesn't have a ton of health. So I'll just try to evade and keep him from special 3 and wait till I get to my special 2 and just hit him. This shouldn't be too hard of a fight here. Alright, here we go. Yep, and he's dead. So, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I do with Path 4 on Alliance War. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and I hope you keep watching. Thanks.